What's up, Pokey fan? We're here at Dollar Tree, and this is actually the grand opening of this Dollar Tree. And we're gonna go inside because I was just in here a couple days ago, and they have a lot of Pokemon booster packs. We're talking older sets, so we're gonna go inside, and we're actually gonna buy up all the Flash Fire booster packs that they have. So maybe we can pull some of those Mega Charizard uh, secret rares or the full art Pokemon Center ladies. Um, this car right here is probably getting mad because I'm in the road. Anyways, guys, let's go inside, buy these booster packs, open them up, let's do it! Alright, inside the dollar store, and they have the most booster packs I've ever seen. They got Primal Clash, Evolution, Sun and Moon, uh, Furious Fist, and they actually have a bunch of Flash Fire as well. And we're gonna buy all these Flash Fire booster packs right here. So, um, hopefully we can pull that full art Pokemon Center lady. That'd be pretty sweet. Let's do it. Alright guys, we just got the booster packs. We got about 30 or so, about 35-ish. Flash Fire booster packs from the Dollar Tree. I literally bought all of them that they had. We had to go through a lot, as you saw in there. Um, I couldn't really record a whole lot because there was people actually in line behind me. The line was open. So anyways, we're gonna go and open all of these bad boys up. I'm super excited about it, guys. Let's go do it. What's up, all you awesome geeks and aqua nerds? Welcome back. It's Thursday. The weekend's almost here. I'm feeling good and I'm hoping all of you are feeling just as good. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, become part of the PokeFam. Hashtag Pokefan putting out new Pokemon videos every single day, Monday, boom, all the way till Friday, because I love talking Pokemon with each and every one of you awesome, awesome people. Now, as you saw, we went to the Dollar Tree. This was the grand opening of a Dollar Tree in my area. And if you don't know, the Dollar Tree actually carries Pokemon cards, legit Pokemon cards, um, but there's only three cards per booster, and it's a dollar per booster. Um, and they happen to have older ones there, Primal Clash, Fur uh, Furious Fist, um, and Flash Fire, of all things. So I went and I bought every Flash Fire booster that they had. So we have about 33 Flash Fire boosters right here. I separated them out by um, pack artwork just to make it a little bit more fancier um, and especially for the people who like things a little bit neater. So we're going to go through the, all of these. We're going to open every one of them right now and see if we can't pull something crazy crazy cool like maybe a full art Pokemon Center lady or a um, maybe a Charizard X, something crazy like that. So let's start with the Pyroar. We'll work our way down. Kangaskhan, Charizard X, Charizard Y. Um, so let's start off. Now, you're not guaranteed a rare out of these booster packs. Um, and the pull rates are kind of, um, they're iffy. They're very iffy. So you're definitely taking a gamble if you buy these. But you know what? If you pull something good, it's totally worth it for a dollar. And how do we start it off? Throw trash on the ground, World Tour 2017. But make sure you clean up afterwards. We always clean up after our tours. All right. Are you ready? Let's do this. We have a Spiel, a Caterpie, a Blacksmith, and then our, um, our ad right there. So that's what you get in it. An ad and three uh, cards as well. Now, if there is a rare or an ultra rare or a secret rare or anything like that, it is going to be the middle card. So let's see what we got in this one. We have a Binnacle, a Reverse Hollow Pidgey, so we'll set that to the side, and a Celo. So we'll kind of keep track right here of all the hollows and anything that's not just commons and uncommons. Um, uh, non non hollow commons and uncommons, that is. Urgh, urgh, busting these. I'm super excited to see what we get in these. Uh, Spiel, uh, Fortress, so that is actually a rare right there. So um, not too bad so far. We have a Reverse Hollow. And a rare, sticking with the Pyroar packs. These are a little bit harder to open up. All right, Gumi, a Skrelt, and a Trick Shovel. So no rare in that booster pack. Hopefully no one has weighed these booster packs. Unfortunately, these can be weighed. Um, they are not, they are not, um, they're not um, uh, how they've made the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising to where you're not able to weigh them because of the code card in there. Um, but these, unfortunately, you can you can weigh them. So um, that is also another risk you take when you buy these booster packs. We have a reverse hollow mill tank right here. Um, so far, it's looking like nobody has weighed these because we have been getting a uh, um, some hollows, not rare hollows, but reverse hollows. Uh, let's see what's up next. We have a Litleo, a reverse hollow Caterpie, and a Rocka 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 Rocka. Um, so it's not it's not looking too bad so far. Hopefully we can get an ultra rare in this. 
Um, have you guys uh, gotten any Dollar Tree booster packs? I would definitely love to hear in the comments below. Um, let me know if you've pulled anything good in them. If your store has older sets, um, one set that I have never seen in Dollar Tree packs is Roaring Skies. So um, if you've ever seen any Roaring Skies in Dollar Tree packs, I would definitely love to see pictures and stuff of that. You can contact me on social media like you find in the description below um, in the video. Um, we're almost out of Pyro packs. We have two left, uh, three left technically. All right. A Buzo, a Sintret, and an Avalogue. So, nothing there. Alright, Pyroar, come on. Pyroar, I think we should pray to the pool gods for every pack artwork. Uh, Pidgey, a Caterpie, and a Nuzleaf. Alright, pool gods, the Pyroar pool gods. Give us something good, Pyroar pool gods. We have a Shinx. A hollow love disc and a crocka rocka 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 rocka. So not not too bad. We did pull a reverse hollow out of that. Now on to the Kangaskhan booster packs. Er, we have a spiel, a reverse hollow fletchling, and another trick shovel, which is not a bad card at all. Um, definitely worth a little bit more um, monetary wise if you're looking at um, that aspect of Pokemon cards. Next up, we have a Sneasel, a Seedot, and a Torkoal. Now, Flashfire was one of my favorite sets. It's probably still within my top three most favorite sets, um, starting with the XY era. So, XY era and Sun and Moon era, this would probably be in my top three favorite sets. Um, there was just a lot of good cards, and it opened us up to a lot of new gameplay. Uh, Flabebe, a Stunky, and an Ultra Ball. Okay, next up, still going with the Kangaskhan. We have not pulled an ultra rare yet. Um, and we've only pulled one rare, actually, the Fortress. Uh, and another Fortress right there. So right as I mentioned the Fortress is, 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 is um, we pull another one. Uh, so hopefully that's not all that's in these booster packs. I would definitely like some other rares besides those. All right, we have a Pineco, a Reverse Holo Gumi, and a Magnetic Storm. Everybody loves a Gumi. Look at that. Look at the Gumi right there. If you ever found one of those in real life, I would think that is a pile of snot. Yes, snot. Uh, next booster pack. You know what I would really like? I'd really like a Gumi plushie. Um, I don't have one. I feel like a Gumi plushie would be pretty cool to have. A Fletchling, a Lipiotile, and a Pokemon Fan Club, which is an awesome full art card if you've ever seen one before. If you haven't, definitely Google that and uh, check it out. All right. Trash is going to be everywhere after this video. We have a Stunky, uh, a Melodic. All right. So we have a Hollow Rare. That's uh, probably our best pull out of all the cards so far. So let's take a closer look at that. So beautiful, and it evolves from such a... Um, I hate to use the word ugly, but man, man, that that, uh, that that Phoebus right there. The Phoebus, if you can see it right there. The Phoebus is very, very ugly, unfortunately. And who would win in a battle between a Phoebus and a Magikarp is what I want to know. I, I'm going with Magikarp. Always got to stick with my Magikarps. Uh, Buizo, another another fortress... Oh, man, look at that. We have pulled three of those so far. I'm guessing if you guys find some, you'll probably pull a lot of those as well. That's where all the fortresses have went. All right, we're on to our Charizard booster packs, as you see right there. A Buttery, a Caterpie, and a Protection Cube, which I'm going to need to protect me from all these fortresses that um, I'm pulling. It's like we're in a cave and there's an echo going on. All right, Caterpie, a Geodude, and a Lissandre. A Lissandre. It's almost like he's French. Lissandre. Um, here we are to the next booster pack. We have a Scrap, a Bruzel, and a Sacred Ash. All right, I gotta stop doing that voice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry when I get so hyped up when I when I open up booster packs, I. I go into weird voices. I can't help it, unfortunately. Uh, Buttery, another a Blizzardle, and a Sneasel. Okay, so nothing crazy exciting so far. 
Um, unfortunately, ah, 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 so much crazy stuff going on here. Sorry, sorry, knock the camera. Um, next up, let's see what we can get. Um, unfortunately, I did spend about $35 getting all these booster packs, so I would definitely like something, something in return. A Spritzy, a Reverse Hollow, okay, not bad, and a Nuzleaf. And our last booster pack of Charizard X. We have a Sneasel, a Pidgeot, which is a rare, so not bad, and a Pokemon fan club. I wonder if they put... they. I feel like they probably put EXs and Full Arts in, in the uh, Dollar Tree booster packs for Flash Fire. I don't know why they wouldn't. Helipiotile, a Buttery, and a Sligu. The evolved form of basic snot into pow more powerful snot, that is. All right, we're on to, um, that was our other booster pack, but we're on to our Charizard Y stack. All right, we have a Litleo, a Duskull, and a Crocka Rocka Rocka. We have one, two, three, four, five, six booster packs left. Six. Can we pull an Ultra Rare out of the six Booster packs that we have left. A Ponyta, a Binnacle, and a Floet. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. What are you thinking so far? You thinking at this point that we'll pull anything? I feel like we can do it. I feel like we can pull at least one thing. Uh, a Pineco, a Scrafty, which is a rare. Okay, so we'll take it. And a Trick Shovel. All right, four booster packs left. Four booster packs left. And then we'll talk about the big, awesome video that we got going on tomorrow. Uh, Gumi, an Esper, and a Luxio. Such a, such a fierce Pokemon. All right, next up. All right. A Centret, a Meowstic, which is a rare, and a, a Mark, a Maractus, a Maractus. Two booster packs left. Which one holds the better card? And will one of them hold the best card out of all these pulls? All right. We have a Sand Dial, a Ponyta, and a Mill Tank. So our last booster pack right here. Out of all the Flash Fire booster packs we bought, what was it? 33 booster packs. All right, Pull Gods. Let's set this aside. Pull Gods, please. Please, we gave you $33. Give us something good, Pull Gods. Our last booster pack. All right, here we go. We have a Phoebus and oh, a Pidgey. No, not a Pidgey and a Trick Shovel. All right, guys, let's take a look at everything that we pulled. Uh, we pulled some rares, definitely. We pulled a good amount of rares, but definitely no ultra rares, which is... Um, which is sad, but unfortunately, like I said, that is the risk you take when you buy um, Dollar Tree booster packs. And we have a Meow Stick, a Scrafty, a Crocka Rocka Rocka, which I don't know what's doing in there because it's not a rare, and neither is that. Um, we have a Pidgeot right there, a Lissandre, a Fortress, another Fortress, another Fortress, um, Milatic, it's a Hollow Rare. Um, that's actually our only Hollow Rare that we got. A Fletchling Reverse Hollow, a Love Disc Reverse Hollow, a Caterpie Reverse Hollow, a Miltank Reverse Hollow, a Gumi Reverse Hollow, and a Pidgey Reverse Hollow. So hopefully, hopefully I said all those rarities right because there's a lot of stuff going on over here. So unfortunately, guys, like I said, that's the risk you take when you buy Dollar Tree Booster Packs. But you know what? If you have bought any Dollar Tree Booster Packs lately, I would definitely love to see. Make sure you find me on social media like you see on your screen. You can send me pictures of your collection or maybe some Dollar Tree Booster Packs that you bought right there. The Instagrams, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Snapchats. And like I said, you guys have been blowing up my Instagram like crazy at Real Breaking 8. So I'd definitely love to talk to you on there. And you know what? Head over to my Facebook page. We're trying to work on building up that Facebook page too. Um, when I do appearances at conventions, I usually post them to my Facebook page first. So if you're wondering when I'm going to be in your state doing videos and appearing at a local convention, Facebook is definitely where you want to check first because that's where I put it all. And in tomorrow's video, we have a huge, huge collaboration with a very popular Pokemon YouTuber that you probably know. I can't tell you who, but you got to wait till tomorrow. And in, also in tomorrow's video, we have a huge announcement as um, what we're doing to our 100,000 subscriber countdown. So 
I think we can get our PokeFam community up to 100,000 subscribers, and I'm sure um, you guys believe in it as well. So guys, it's going to be a fun day tomorrow. All right, PokeFam, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to go back and watch yesterday's video where I randomly ran into a fan in the store, and so I decided, hey, why not? Let's make a video together. So I had him pick out the booster packs, and we see if he can pick out better booster packs than I pick out. So it's really, really fun. So go and watch that. Don't forget to like comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about these Dollar Tree booster packs. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video with a huge, huge collaboration and huge announcement. Peace out, guys.